Hello YouTube and welcome to my tutorial. So in this tutorial we're gonna I'm going to teach you how to mask your IP for Minecraft so you can log into the server by using the domain simply because it's easier and looks more professional and it kind of advertises your site a little bit as well. So this is pretty much made for pro hosters so if your panel is different don't hesitate to private message me and give me your options of what you can do or for support just private message me on YouTube as well so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into your panel and see um, so cp.prohost.com and it should bring you to something like this if it's not like this don't worry just PM me then you need to click game servers and uh, click your server that you'll be using to forward to your domain so in this case it will be brohost tutorial I've stopped the server just for the basics of this tutorial so if you want to actually do it I advise you stop the server before doing anything now what you are going to want to do is you're going to want to log into your cPanel so to do this you must go to your domain as far as fantasy.com is the domain we'll be using then colon 2082 or slash cPanel then click login now what you're going to have to need is advanced DNS zone editor if you don't have this um, I don't think you can do it on simple DNS zone editor I never tried it before but this is pretty much what you need If so if you don't have it just contact your web hosting provider and they should give it you so yeah once you've actually gone down to the domain section just click it and then you should come to a screen that looks a lot like this or pretty much exactly like this to be honest okay now what you're going to want to do guys is for your name that's what you want to use so for minecraft we're going to do the initials so it's going to be mc and then it's going to be dot sorezfantasy.com so you're just going to type in mc and then click off it you've noticed it has a dot at the end of here that's perfectly natural guys just leave it how it is now for the ttl you're going to put, want to put 144 zero zero now that you have done that you're going to want to for the address go to your panel game panel and copy the IP the port is not needed guys so that's the last five numbers they are not needed neither is the semicolon so what you're going to want to do is just put the IP in there so we get three ticks and the type has to be a and then just click add record right guys what you're going to want to do now is to check your default config files or com properties or well, server.properties and it should look a lot like this obviously that your port and your IP is going to match what it says and everything else you don't really need if you experience some errors I will teach you how to do that at the end of the tutorial but that's pretty much what you should have now what you're going to want to do is actually start your server and once you've started it you're going to want to oh I still have 1.5 so it would say outdated but it still should say it works sorry my mistake I'm on 1.6.5 so let me just log in and then you're going to want to go to multiplayer as you can see that's a server that's already been set up but we're not on minecraft.sorosfantasy anymore we're on mc so mc.sorosfantasy.com now you'll probably notice that if you don't have the port at the end and you try to log in it wouldn't work so what you're going to have to do is you still have to put the port unless you're on the default port 25565 so if you're not on that port then you're going to have to put it at the end so we're going to need the last five numbers and the co colon there well we don't really need the colon to be honest so just get the last five numbers and there because I've already put the colon in and then connect you'll probably notice that it won't connect now so what you're going to want to do is to check that you've done everything correctly first this is a key thing you must do to actually get to work is to refresh it and you'll I think that's pretty much correct just gonna edit it just to check correct yep that's fine so try connecting again and if it doesn't work what you want to go to 
what you want to do is to stop the server. La 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 la. Um. Well, we'll just wait for this. Okay, now it's stopped. Go to default config files, edit, and what you're going to want to do with the server IP is delete it and leave it blank. So now you've done that, just click save. File manager. Well, don't need to go to file manager. M M C S M P one nine two slots or whatever. Then click start. Now you're going to want to try and connect again. And that failed because it didn't work. Why didn't it work? I don't know. I think I did it wrong. One sec, let me just try. Craft. Edit record. Okay. Try Minecraft. Dot Soros. Um, you'll notice it works now so if you do get that error then just change the MC to Minecraft and once you've done that it should let you do it but it doesn't let me do it because I'm currently on 1.6.5 as you can see and Bucket haven't released an update for that yet so thanks for watching guys and I guess I'll see you in my next tutorial this has been vjosh or version josh at bro.cm register the forums today and maybe purchase cheap reliable s servers to for us to host okay that's all for now guys goodbye